You guys probably can't tell this about me just uh, looking at me, but I do eat meat. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, I have to say that because everyone assumes I'm vegan for some reason. I don't know what it is about me. Like if it's because I look gay or frail. Uh, people are like, yeah, that girl has dietary restrictions. <laughs> for sure. It's like, I'm also Asian, okay? We eat all of the meats. When my mom and I make chicken soup, we drive to Chinatown. We pick a chicken that's still alive. We're like, that one's the fattest. They kill it before our eyes. We don't even pray. <laughs> then we bring it home, cook it for four hours, and I eat the entire chicken, including the eyes, the beak, and the brain, okay? Like, I know how to eat meat. So I'm really sick of when people are like, oh, I like chicken nuggets. What you do is gross. Like, okay, fine, you like chicken nuggets? You know what those are? Those are just shredded up chicken butts, okay? <laughs> What's really grosser? I ate two eyeballs. You ate 500 assholes. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the chicken butts, okay? You don't know where that chicken's been. I just feel like if you're gonna kill a living being and eat it, you just can't eat a leg and a breast, throw the rest of it away. That animal was alive. Like, if we got to that point of cannibalism, which we will, <laughs> and like, we had to eat each other, you had to eat me, and you only ate my leg, like, I'd be so pissed, right? <laughs> I'm like, hello, I didn't read all those books for nothing. Eat my brain. <laughs> Go for it. It's good for you. I have a lot of friends that are vegan, though, because they're lesbians. Uh, <laughs> it's just what happens, okay? We care a lot about everything. They'll bring me to their favorite vegan restaurant. I'll eat it, you know? I'm like, mmm, edible sponge. Yum. <laughs> so tasty. I refuse to eat vegan cheese ever again. I had it one time, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's like if regular cheese had diarrhea and then you eat it and you also have diarrhea, okay? It's like, why is it so goopy? I don't want to offend anyone who's vegan in here, by the way. Um, it's good for the planet, you know? I just feel like only uh, white people should be vegan. <laughs> Personal belief of mine, yeah. Because I have a lot of cultural food that I want to preserve. You know, it's been around for thousands and thousands of years. And white people, you guys have less of that. <laughs> also, you killed a lot of people. So. <laughs> it's only fair, you know, it's a little trade-off. Colonialism for flavor. <laughs> and if you didn't laugh at that, uh, you're the problem. <laughs> This is great. This is so fun doing shows in front of people again. Uh, I miss talking to audiences because I would ask them uh, what celebrity they think I looked like, you know, my doppelganger. And then I had to stop because people were mean. <laughs> yeah. Someone in the audience would always shout out, uh, you look like the guy from The Hangover. <laughs> yeah. First of all, that's not a name, okay? Second of all, we all know who you're talking about. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> But one time, someone in the audience said, uh, no, you kind of look like Jeremy Lin, the <laughs> basketball player. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's racist again. Okay. <laughs> like, we're nothing alike. He went to Harvard to play basketball, and I actually got into college. <laughs> and he's Taiwanese, and I'm from a real UN-recognized country. <laughs> America, okay? <laughs> Just kidding, I know Taiwan is real, okay? I was forced to say otherwise by the Chinese government. <laughs> Please don't get offended by that joke. My ex-girlfriend is actually Taiwanese. Uh, and a hater. So. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. I'm Irene, too.